All right. Political Patty, you are the last call in for tonight. What's going on, Political Patty? Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I I have so far so good. I loved him. He was wonderful. Yes, he's great. Um, well, I wanted to to talk to you just in regards. I wanted to pump you up and let you know oh. that I am a conservative, but and I'm a you know like a thousand years old, and but that's okay. Um, point being, you rock. Don't you dare stop. And I mean it. I'm yelling at you, lady, because I want you to understand. I know I'm crazy. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's no, okay. I know. I want you to know we love you out here. We need you out here. I have three. I'm going to, I hate to say this, but it's sort of weird. I have three white children, Caucasian, whatever color you want to say. And then I have one biracial son. He is my youngest. I absolutely adore him. But then I look at the this crap that's going on, the CRT. That crap is sickening. My son is a biracial. So he's an adult. But my point is, how do you see we are not a white and a, a, a black, uh, a brown or Hispanic or Asian country? We are a blended blended beautiful colored whatever you want to say country we have to not put these children that are biracial or whatever half asian half you know caucasian or half black or whatever we can't do that to them can you see the emotional destruction it will do to them to like oh well my other part of me is pretty sucky yeah it's How awful. dare they? How dare they? I think that that's a really good question. How dare they? How dare they teach this in schools? How dare they teach children to identify with one part, with one half of themselves and not the other half of themselves? It's evil. And you know what? How did I raise four great kids that have done wonderful in their lives I that have grown up to not see Oh, well, this person's that color, so we have to, you know, it's like living in a freaking color crane box. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of it. I am a mom who loves my son, and I love my other kids. They're wonderful kids. They grew up with their little brother. How, and if, let's put it this way, if anybody would have said something to him, and some people have, but that's when they were younger, they did get into some fights. They protected their little brother because they saw him as their brother, not anything, not a particular color, not this, not that, blah, blah, blah. And so this garbage is just got to stop. You yeah, cannot yeah. destroy these kids that are biracial, you know, or if they've grown up in a family with different, you know, races in it because they've been adopted, yada, yada. There's a whole story behind every person how dare they and dare i they? and i want you please to keep fighting i know i wish i could fight with you unfortunately you know i'm i i don't know how to i mean i'm literally not joking i want to fight because i'm sick of it because i can see the hurt and the mental abuse this can actually cause we already have enough mental problems and I know you got to go and I'm sorry. I'm going to shut up. I, I just want, I, I want you to know we love you and we need you out here. Oh, and I'm well, not, you know, and please don't think all Republicans are assholes and excuse no. my language. Sorry, but I, I saw the video when you were fighting those two ignorant retardo people. Oh no, that's a bad word. Bad word. Sorry. No, I'm, I didn't mean to say that, but my, you said, those, you said it with like, the O on the end. So I think it's okay. As long as you say I'm it with sorry, the O on sorry. the end. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, those idiot conservative <laughs> Christian people. I'm a Christian, but I don't deal with that crap. My point is, is you are a rock star to me. I care about you. I think you're a wonderful person. And I, don't know your husband, but I'm sure he's a great man too. But how dare they for attacking you and your husband? That was jerky. And I, I don't claim people like that. They're evil. 
They're not the Christians that should be. Let's put it this way. So please don't take them as examples because I'm, I'm a cussing Christian and I'm not a very good one, but that's okay. God still loves me, but point being, I'm going to shut up and I really care about you and thank you for being out there and understand we need. And if you ever, you know, want to yell at me, um, I am a political patty on, let's see. Um, what am I on anymore? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> no, I'm on so many because we've been, you know, thrown off. I've been thrown off Facebook five times, but oh, wow. anyway, we won't discuss that. Um, That's all right. Well, we so, can put it anyway, we'll uh, for uh, you in the chat. Yeah, yeah. I thank you. Okay. Well, well, thank you. And thank you for the encouragement. And just know by like, like by speaking up, like you're, you're, you're fighting back simply by speaking up. Like, you know, like you, you told your story eloquently about the impact that this could have on your family. And that's, that's, that's doing something. And those, those these are things that everyone should be doing. And, you know, if more people did the little things, even just calling in and telling your story now, that's something it's more than a lot of people are doing. And so thank you for, for sharing your story with us. And thank you for giving me a good kick in the pants. I need it every <laughs> once in a while because I do tend to hear more from the really bad people than the than the good ones, you know. And I know that I know that not all Republicans and conservatives are bad people. Like I'm well aware. I think I think a lot of Republicans and conservatives are great people. I just wish they'd stop voting for horrible candidates. Amen. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I am so pumped. I want to get a YouTube channel, but I know they'll probably throw me off within five seconds because I would really say what I felt. But anyway, so I, like I said tonight, but that's, we have to fight. We got to keep fighting. We can't stop. And I know not everybody loves Trump or anything, but I mean, I'm a Trumper, and, but that's, you know, because I want jobs. I want things that are good for I have, you know, I have kids. I have to think about them. I'm an adult, or I mean, they're adults. And, but my point is, is that we've got to keep fighting because I don't want my grandkids to grow up in the crappy shithole that they that they intend on making my country. Mm -hmm. And my father fought in World War II, and no, uh, -uh. no. Uh we're going to keep going, Patty. And you know, we, that's all we can do, right? That all we can do is keep putting one foot forward in front of the other. And I really appreciate you calling in tonight. And, and again, like giving me the encouragement. Um, you know, I, I know it might not seem like I need encouragement sometimes, but sometimes I really do. And it's been a couple of tough weeks. I'll tell you what, it's been a couple of tough weeks. So I, I definitely appreciate it. And what a great call to end on for the night. So thank you for joining me. Sorry for cussing. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right, girl. You take care and join me again on another call in in the future, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. -bye. bye.